guys are seeing on screen is the absolute best the gaming keyboard scene probably will get for a really long time as far as features are concerned that actually help you improve your performance by a lot i mean i'm talking drastic improvements that basically no other mechanical gaming keyboard can do in this review today we're going to be taking a quick look at the wooting 60 he and talking about a lot of the features that this keyboard gives you and one cool feature really is truly customization this is a really cool feature because uh, this is not your regular generic wooting 60 he case this is one that i case swap to this is a resin case that i got from drop but i believe that it's also sold on kbe fans as well but i think this was like 50 or 60 bucks uh a year ago when i got this case and it is pretty nice it looks great does not sound the best honestly i think i'm gonna switch back to the wooden keyboard case because the typing angle of this case is not nearly as good as it is on the wooden keyboard i do wish that the wooden case did have uh kickstands and stuff like that right here that would be really nice but honestly speaking when i had the pcb from from this keyboard inside of this case the typing angle was actually pretty perfect so i really didn't have any issues with it i'm pretty sure that i'm going to be returning back to the generic wooden case but i am going to be keeping these kbe fan spark keycaps on this just to give it a little bit more of a fresh look but talking about the keycaps real quick the wooden keycaps are oem profile so they are slightly taller but honestly these are some really good quality double shot pvt shine through keycaps these things are really really good i just want to make sure that i save these so i'm not going to trash them because they are really good shine through keycaps in case I decide to uh, swap these keycaps to another keyboard. Talking about the design of the Wooting case, you do have this little uh, take control, not really a keychain, but like a little lanyard on the side of the keyboard just to give it a bit more of a different look. A Wooting logo at the bottom of the case, some nice rubber feet on the sides as well. The case really doesn't move at all when you have it on your desk or on your mouse pad. And then you also do have USB type C over on the left side of the case, which in my opinion for a gaming keyboard is the correct and the best side to have your USB type C port on. And you will also notice that they did have some pretty decent foam inside here, even though for some reason there was a little bit more resonance inside of the case. But I think that's because the Gateron Lecker switches that they use in this keyboard are a little bit more on the clacky side and they are factory oiled. So you don't really have to lube them yourself, but I definitely did just to increase a little bit uh, more smoothness. It really didn't make that big of a difference. In my opinion, I'll give you guys a quick sound test a little bit later comparing the stock version to the lube version and the lube version definitely does sound a bit better. I did actually go for using a light lube though because I want to make sure that we maintain performance. I didn't want anything to slow down these speedy switches. From a build quality and feature standpoint, the Wooting is a really impressive board. It does use a 60% standard layout with the USB Type-C port in its most compatible place. You can use, uh, obviously, other different 60% keyboard cases with the PCB without having to do any modifications. I didn't have to do anything, but obviously pick this PCB out of the Wooting case and drop it into the case that I wanted. Wooting also did add a ton of foam just to make sure that this keyboard doesn't sound extra hollow and pingy, so you do have foam between the top plate as well as the PCB and you also do have additional foam below the PCB inside of the case as well. The weakest point of this keyboard is probably the fact there's not really any aftermarket plates available from Wooting. Hopefully that's something that they will do but I do know that since these key switches are analog you have to keep them in place because if you move the switches a little bit too close or a little bit too far it's going to mess up everything as far as your usability and your experience. Now the things about this keyboard that are drastically going to help you improve 
your in-game performers are going to be things like the customizable actuation point. You can customize from being able to actuate the key switch at 0.1 millimeters or all the way down to four millimeters. It really just depends on what you're looking to get out of your actuation. But what I did, I set custom actuation for a few key switches that I normally use on a regular basis. So like your movement keys and your ability keys in game, those I would definitely lower your standard actuation. And for in-game functions that you don't want to actuate on accident, you want to make sure that you increase the amount of time that it's going to take you to hit that switch if you really don't need to use it. But if you don't really actuate things on accident most of the time, I wouldn't really worry about it. In my opinion, the feature that makes the wooden keyboard special is the rapid trigger function. And more or less, the rapid trigger function really does allow you to spam the keys as quickly as you possibly can. So that rapid trigger function basically allows you to press down on a key and then partially release and press down again to actuate the key switch again. And over and over and over and over and over again, you see how that can quickly help you in game. Now think about if you're playing Fortnite, if you're playing a first person shooter where you have a function that you're doing repeatedly over and over again you want to make sure that you have the absolute fastest ability to spam that key to get whatever you need done in the game now you are also able to activate a tachyon mode which will also further decrease your input latency for your keyboard and that tachyon mode is really really nice it disables some of the rgb functions and basically makes your keyboard extremely fast one thing that i did notice is that if you don't use the keyboard cable that comes with your wooden keyboard you may experience some problems so on one of my pcs when i wasn't using the wooden cable it would start like just randomly typing and doing like all this weird stuff that's one thing i do want to let you guys know about you want to make sure that 100 percent of the time you use the wooden keyboard cable and i hope that they do release a cable that is not black and yellow like just a flat black or even a white cable you can add colors if you want just to have accessories available and i think that, that would be a pretty good idea to have along with other play options i would like to see some uh, more neutral color schemes available in the future especially if you are going to really uh, talk about the ability to customize the look and aesthetic of your keyboard and another thing that's really nice is the fact that Wooting also moved their software from being something that you install onto your PC to an online Wootility. Everything that you could do with the previous Wooting keyboard, the full size version that we took a look at a while ago, you can now do online without installing anything on your PC. After using this keyboard for a couple of weeks, I'm really impressed with everything that Wooting has done here. This is basically exactly what I asked for. It's the full size version of the keyboard shrunken down to a 60% that also has honestly the right layout for arrow keys. You can just press the uh, function key over here at the bottom right of the keyboard and use these keys right here for your arrow keys, which is incredibly easy. And I love the fact that you can do that or you can use the, uh, you know, WASD over here as well. So it's a really nice job on their PCB designers and programmers. Programmers. And another quick thing about the PCB is the fact that you can actually switch the switch orientation from being north facing to south facing. So if you want to use chair profile keycaps like I am right now, you don't have any interference with your Gateron Lecker switches. Now for the price of the Wooden 60, is it really worth it? Well, $180 gets you the absolute best gaming keyboard that you can get. And most of the work is done for you. Like let's say that you buy this keyboard and you don't want to do anything to it. You just want to plug it in and use it from the factory. It feels great. It sounds great. The stabilizers even are like perfectly lube. Like I'm extremely shocked at how well these are done, especially in comparison to other gaming brands that have been building gaming keyboards for a really long time. Like if you compare this to any off the shelf SteelSeries keyboard, even the Apex Pro and the new Apex Pro Mini that just released, I can guarantee you that the stabilizers and the switch performance just does not sound and feel exactly the same as this. Like they don't really take the same level of care that Wooding took when they crafted this amazing amazing gaming beast that also happens to be incredibly customizable. So if you want to buy this, in my opinion, I would say that this is definitely going to be $180 well spent. But that's going to be it for this video. If you guys enjoy, feel free to drop a like and subscribe to the channel as well. If you do have any other questions about this keyboard, feel free to drop them in the comment section below or also uh, follow me on Twitter. I do respond on Twitter quite a bit. I spend a lot of time on Twitter nowadays. I spend more time on Twitter than I do in Premiere Pro, which I probably should fix. I'm working on it, but guys, it's hard. I don't know what's better, Twitter or TikTok. I, I would definitely say Twitter. Twitter is a little bit more informative. But if you guys made it this far in the video, comment 60HE in the comment section below so I know that you stayed this far. I want to thank you guys again. I will see you in the next video. Bye.